Good morning, YouTube. Hello, it is Serena Vassar here again for another vlog. I am sitting here in my living room kitchen area. As you can see, you're probably familiar with this background and just about getting ready to get started for my day. I'm going to have some coffee and enjoy that. I've been doing some paperwork here on my lovely Sailor Moon inspired laptop here <laughs> and um, kind of get ready for the day. So I just wanted to give a little quick update. Look at my lovely little bit of makeup. What do you think? My mascara. It has been a, a joy to work with this Beauty Counter products that I just got recently. I know I just did a really fun, super long unboxing video from a couple days ago and it has been a blast. I have been super enjoying the face creams and I, I know I mentioned in my unboxing video I was never a girl who ever did any kind of face care I wore makeup I wore eyeshadow I wore mascara You're never gonna see me pretty much ever without mascara uh -huh. um, so I was like what's up with this skincare thing I didn't think I was gonna like it but look at how beautiful my skin looks today I have not got any foundation any powder nothing and it's just glowing and even toned and I just used the night cream last night before I went to bed and it is just it's blown my mind mind is blown totally blown did not think that would happen so I'm very happy if you want to learn more you message me contact me check out my link below if you want to see my um, website page but yeah I just wanted to give you that update I thought it's been pretty fun. All right, now time for coffee. And here it is. Oh, beautiful, delicious coffee. Today I am drinking um, coffee. Jeremy and I, my husband and I, usually drink coffee from Backyard Beans. It's a local coffee roaster here. Awesome, guys. If you're listening, keep up the great work. Fantastic coffee. And this particular roast blend is one of my faves. It's called Punch in the Face. <laughs> it's a dark roast and um, it's to die for. It's fantastic. If you're in the area, definitely check them out. Backyard Beans. I'll link them below too. You guys can check them out. They're pretty great. So I'm going to get back to drinking my coffee and continue my emails. I usually sit here in the morning and do paperwork. I have office hours to see my private nutrition clients between 1 and 8 p.m. And um, I just do paperwork in the meantime, phone calls, emails. There's always something fun to do. So I'm going to get back to that and talk to you guys in a little bit. Hello again, everybody. I am back from work and I'm cooking my dinner. It is close to 5.30 now and Jeremy and I are going into the city tonight to go see Jordan Peterson. How cool is that? You can see I've got my eggs cooking and some sausage. And I've got my cucumber slices again with some mayonnaise mixed with some spices and I think it's gonna be pretty good. So we are really excited to go see Jordan Peterson. He's a really cool dude from Canada and he is a professor um, at University of Toronto in Canada and you can read about him below. I've put the links down there. But we are getting ready to leave. I'm not sure how much more I'll actually vlog today so it's gonna be a very short day. But I wanted to show you my food. So I know I just pointed out two eggs, a sausage, this is some mayonnaise mixed with spices, and there's some cucumber. And I am putting some cheese, some hard um, aged cheese that's raw milk. And I'm gonna just try it out and see how it goes. I think it's going to be delicious. I'll let you guys know tomorrow how it goes. I'm sure it's gonna go fine. I will try to pick the camera and show you a little bit about our adventure today, going to see Jordan Peterson. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's about it for now. everybody um, I realized if you have not noticed yet my clothes have changed I'm totally in a different spot it's sunny again outside I did not get a chance to end the vlog last night after our Jordan Peterson experience it was so much fun we got home really late and just went to bed so I didn't even pick up the camera but you could see there was a ton of people who came out to hear Jordan Peterson talk now I did not do justice telling you about him before you saw the clip of all the crowds and our sign um, outside the Tower Theater, but he is a really cool dude. He was a professor or still is a professor at the University of Toronto in Canada and is really 
a very deep thinker. He's very precise in his language and presenting ideas to people, and he has a great way of helping you to kind of be a better person. He's got a fantastic book that I've read twice now called 12 Rules for Life, and I'll link that below so you can read all about it if you want. I also linked below a, um, a little clip to his YouTube to kind of get an introduction to the 12 Rules for Life to see what that's all about. It is a really awesome concept where you can kind of keep living your life and doing really good things for yourself and, and move forward in a positive direction. There's so much in life now that's all about like sadness and despair and all of the tragedies in the world. And we just talked last night about the all the high school shootings that keep happening. Like how do we combat that as a society, as a community? And he's got a lot of great things to say about that. So definitely check him out. Would highly recommend it. And I'm gonna read a couple of the rules for life here for you right now. Okay, so rule number one. Now, it was really fun yesterday to watch Jordan Peterson. He kind of talked through several of his 12 rules. Um, you can check him out, like I said, on YouTube. He's got probably thousands of hours of his lectures available for free online that he has done with his students in, university, in the University of Toronto. So check him out, really cool. So here's first rule is stand up straight with your shoulders back. Second rule, treat yourself like someone you are responsible for for helping. Number three, make friends with people who want what is best for you. Number four, compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not to who someone else is today. Number five, don't let your children do anything that makes you dislike them. Number six, set your house in perfect order before you criticize the world. Number seven, Pursue what is meaningful, not what is expedient. Number eight, tell the truth, or at the very least, don't lie. Number nine, assume that the person you are listening to knows something that you don't. Number 10, be precise with your speech. Number 11, do not bother children who are skateboarding. And number 12, the last rule that he has is pet a cat when you encounter one on the street. Now I know these sound kind of ridiculous and kind of random, but if you listen to the audio book or if you read the hard copy book, his 12 rules for life, he expands on each of these during his chapters. And they actually offer quite a lot of information and a lot of um, guidance to be kind of a better person, to use what your strengths are and use your weaknesses even to become more of a strength. So the first one, stand up straight with your shoulders back, that talks about the concepts of a hierarchical structure in a really positive way. There's a lot of negativity now out in the world about being part of a hierarchy and that it's kind of like a domineering force where the top down is just trying to like be tyrannical and destroy the people below. And he talks about it in a very positive light, that hierarchies are a natural part of nature. Every single thing you encounter, he talks about Price's Law, which is where a small majority of people have the most power, right? And it should be used for the good of people, not for tyranny and you know negativity. If you are at the top of a hierarchy, it's because it should be because you have earned that place with your level of competency, not just because you have you know brute force and climbed up to the top of that ladder. So, standing up straight with your shoulders back allows you to be a really positive influence in your circle of the world, your hierarchy of the world. Treat yourself like someone you're responsible for helping. Rule number two, I love that concept. It hit me totally differently last night for whatever reason. I've interacted with this concept before, but to me that was a different perspective on self-care. A lot of what we talk about in the health world, mental health world, nutritional therapy, all of these things, you know, my history is we talk about self-care as doing what feels good and doing what's restorative for you. But if you take a different twist on that and you look at this rule number two, treat yourself like someone you're responsible for helping, it just gives you a whole lot more personal power. What it does is it teaches you that your actions matter. They're not just superfluous. They're not just floating around in space. When you choose to take a walk or do your workout for the day, or give yourself some personal discipline. Now discipline, not like punishment. We think often of discipline as being a punishment for doing something wrong, like we discipline our kids, or I was disciplined. But discipline is a really positive aspect of healthy life, right? 
I'm disciplined when I get up and say I'm going to drink my coffee and I'm not gonna add tons of sugar to it. And I'm disciplined when I say I'm gonna do my workout for the day. I'm gonna practice my yoga. I'm gonna practice you know, doing my push-ups or walking my dog or doing all these positive things. I'm gonna practice eating healthful, nourishing foods. That's all discipline. When you treat yourself as if you are someone you're caring for, so if you have children, if you have a pet even, you're responsible for that animal or that child, and you're gonna treat them with the respect that they deserve and the discipline that they deserve to help them be a better person, right? If you have a child, for example, and they are throwing a temper tantrum because they wanna eat you know, candy for breakfast or ice cream for breakfast or whatever, you have the discipline, you have the role of caretaker to say, I know that's not gonna be best for you long term. If we treat ourselves that same way, we can make a huge difference. A lot of times we put ourselves last and we say, I'll get to myself later, I'll take care of this later, I'm just gonna do this, this is fast, this is easy, whatever. That may be, that's okay, that's a choice you're making, but if you treated yourself as if you were someone you're caring for, that's self-care. That's true, meaningful self-care where you're putting yourself first in a positive way. Not just, there's a big concept out here, everyone, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos and heard a lot of people talk about treat yourself and you deserve a treat and you deserve to indulge in these things, which is true to a degree. You want to be a, be rewarded for your positive outward, output into the world, your um, efforts that you've done, but true self-care and truly treating yourself is giving yourself what you need to flourish and thrive. Treating yourself as if you're someone that you're caring for. That was a great concept. I love that and I'm going to be incorporating that even more into my private practice with my clients because that's a really, really healthful way, healthful outlook on kind of community and caring for yourself. So self-care is is taking an Epsom salt bath and relaxing and drinking your glass of wine at the end of a long day. Like That's all self-care, but when it becomes to the point of detriment where you're drinking a whole bottle of wine at night or, or you are taking a bath to hide from other responsibilities, if you need to take care of your taxes, I know we're past tax season, if you need to take care of some bills or paperwork or whatever is sitting on your plate and you're just ignoring it and putting that to the side, I think self-care in a, in a way is really just saying, I'm gonna put my true needs forward. And if taking care of your paperwork, taking care of your bills, taking care of your, you know, whatever project you're working on is going to put you, set you up for success in the future, that's self-care, taking care of the things that you need to do. And now I wanna break that down even further. I know I'm rambling a little bit here, but stick with me. I wanna break that down even further. One of the concepts that I'm super passionate about in my office is what I call chunking, breaking down really complex things into small pieces that are easy to digest. Right, so you've got a big goal. Say you need to lose 100 pounds. Say you need to, or you want to develop strength. You wanna be able to lift 250 pounds and right now you can lift a five pound bag of flour and that's like enough. That all starts somewhere. And this concept here of treating yourself as someone you're responsible for helps you to break that down into smaller bite-sized pieces. So say you need to lose 100 pounds. It's totally overwhelming and almost insurmountable how big it is. So break that down. What is something you can break that down into a size that's reasonable for you to handle? So okay, maybe you say, I've, I'm gonna start with five pounds. Five pounds is totally reasonable, totally doable in a short period of time. It's not gonna take you 10 years to lose five pounds. Well, what's the next step in doing that? Okay, maybe instead of having your Starbucks Frappuccino for every morning for breakfast, you go and you get blended iced coffee with your heavy cream or your coconut milk or whatever suits you best in that department and you add your own liquid stevia or you add your own sweetener, even if it's sugar, you know what's going into that. That's a step in the right direction. That's absolutely a step in the right direction. Sitting down, if you listened to my podcast, recently about how digestion works, which again, I'll link that below for you guys if you wanna to listen to it. No, lo learning, understanding, sitting down, chewing your food, mindfully being aware of what you're eating, stopping when you're full, eating when you're hungry, all of those things are steps in the right direction. Those are chunks that take you towards self-care. That's all self-care. That's all treating yourself the way that you deserve to be treated, which is, like Jordan Peterson says, treat yourself as someone you're responsible for helping. So long ramble over about that. I'm super passionate about this. I think it's a super great concept. How many times can I say super in this sentence? <laughs> but that's great. 
I could talk about each of these steps later and I probably will go into it each time and I want to, Jeremy and I are going to be doing a bit of a um, Jordan, Jordan Peterson recap with some of our upcoming podcast episodes so you can definitely listen to us talk about that for a lot longer. These 15 minute vlogs are just not enough time to delve deep into applying these concepts and understanding them, learning them, but really impactful. I'm so happy that we got to go. It was definitely an experience. I have not really done things like that. I've done theater and done, you know, shows, but not, a, it almost felt like, um, not a rally, but people went and they felt empowered afterwards. We're standing in this giant long line of people and you're like, everybody is here because this guy, Jordan Peterson, has positively impacted them or they want to help improve their lives. Like, how cool is that? Jordan ended his talk last night after we had a wonderful, super fun Q&A session. He ended by saying how grateful he was because he walks out the door every day and at least four people come up to him, tell them all the ways that their life was a mess and, and, he, and they've applied some of his concepts that they've learned from something that he said, right? He spoke words out, spoke truth out to people. They assimilated it into their brains and now they're a better person. Their world has been made better. Like, how amazing, how freaking amazing is that? That you can speak, you can offer truth and help and kindness to individuals and change their lives forever, positively for good. Like, that is my dream. That's what I'm hoping to accomplish for these. Everybody who listens to my vlogs and comes into my office door, make a positive impact. Help to make your world a better place because your world is all that you know, right? You're in the center of your own cosmos here. This whole universe kind of revolves around each and every one of us. It's not like there's one person who is the center of the universe. Each of us, we're our own centers of our own universe. And helping to make that a positive thing, helping to bring positive impact to the world around you. That's all you can ask for. You know, that's all you can do and hope for as a human being is leave a positive legacy, leave a positive impact in the world. Even if things aren't perfect, you take steps forward and you start implementing some of these truths and some of these concepts for the better. And I think I'm going to end this long ramble here. And please let me know if you, if you know Jordan Peterson, what do you think? I mean, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. If you don't know, check him out. Let me know what you think about him. I think he's got a lot of really great things to say. In this world, this modern day and age, we kind of are all about live your own truth, which is fine. There's some aspects of that that are really, really helpful, really great for some people. But I also like the ideas that Jordan Peterson puts forth where he talks about there is truth, right? A lot of times we get into this concept that there is no truth. It's all what I believe is what's true to me. And that's, that is true to a point. But having um, concepts like this where you kind of have a universal truth that tell the truth or at least don't lie. That's a really great one too. Speaking Honestly, speaking truthfully to people for the good of the people is a totally different concept than just doing what feels good to you. And that's kind of what I'm getting at here. So end our vlog today and this segment with um, kind of a call to action for you guys to think about these things. Think about what it means to stand up straight with your shoulders back. Think about what it means to treat yourself as if you're someone you're responsible for caring for which you are. Treat yourself, compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not to who someone else is today. I'll do a whole different vlog on that. That's a really great one too. I think I might take this little outline and do some of my own thoughts here for the next few days. It could be pretty fun. So yeah, step out into the world in confidence. Be better than you were yesterday. Small steps in the right direction are profoundly changing over time. That's kind of the, the role to move in. So I'll leave you at that. Take a deep breath, think about these things. I'll list all the rules below so you can read with me while I'm talking about them here. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for sticking with me through this process here. And I hope you learned something. I hope this has been val valuable to you. And I hope that you have a really great night. Thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.